be a little different video. I'm going to show you all the stuff I went through this week because it's part of the game. So let me get on this side. Uh, truck full out. Yesterday I went to Splendora to pick up the Skister and look what happened. I had to use my spare because this is the tire I had. As you can see, yeah, no good. And I, I had a feeling that had happened to it because as I was getting over there, the truck started to shake. It was starting to shake when I would drive and it's done that before. And these were the, I found those two tires I have in the back on offer up for 90 bucks just cause I wanted to get these off since they had uh, literally no thread at all. That's why I got the other ones, but they, as you can see, it only lasted me like a week. So I already called my guy. I ordered four new tires. I'm gonna get those put on today. And what else happened? Oh, my truck. My truck's not here and I'm gonna tell y'all why right now. Not sure if y'all can see it, but y'all see that big puddle right there? That's diesel. So here's what happened to the truck. Two days ago, I went and filled up my tanks all the way up with diesel, both of them. And yesterday when I got to the yard, I noticed that one of them, the passenger side, it was leaking uh, small drops of, of diesel right there by the bracket, one of the brackets, the one on the far behind side and the back side, like towards the top. So I guess it had a small hole. I never had noticed it since I've really never filled up the tanks all the way up. So that happened. I took the truck to a shop yesterday and they're gonna take the tank apart they're gonna weld if it has a hole depends how big it is they're just gonna weld it and i might just have to get new uh, rubber on the on that bracket but that happened yesterday the tire the tank and two days ago no three days ago the lights on the trailers weren't working i kept on thinking it was the trailers the trailers ended up being the fuses on the on the truck but the problem is you know you have those fuses with the plastic ends that have green red with different colors for the for the bolts and this is something that electrician told me about a month ago or two when i went to, to his shop because i couldn't get my my headlights to work and he told me that that fuse box wherever the fuses go they're they're like in bad condition they're pretty worn out so the fuses don't kind of stick they they fit loose and he told me to buy these right here oh and i got two hats also but i have to replace those smaller uh, plastic fuses for these and yeah i mean for like a whole hour two hours i even did a a run without my uh, lights working but I don't really know what the hell was the problem till I got to the yard I was messing with it and I hooked on the trailer to the other truck and they worked with the other trucks so that kind of let me know that the problem was on my truck so I bought these here and slowly I'll just replace all of them with these just so I don't have any problems because they fit pretty pretty loose I'll make a video of that just to show you guys later on when I have the truck with me but I'll definitely, I'm definitely going to that shop where my truck is to, to see how the, the tank is going and everything later on. So I'll show you guys that. But, but that's, what's, that's what's happening so far this week. I only did one load today. Well, not today, this whole week. I only did one load with the, with the Kenworth. I moved a loader, which y'all saw that video. And... Well, the loader's here at the yard. I brought it to my yard because we're going to use it for something and then we'll take it back to the to the owner. And this was, uh, I want to say, about five, six days ago. That trailer, the low boy trailer. Y'all yeah, know how I have to disconnect the airlines and the electrical wire to detach the gooseneck from the trailer whenever I'm loading equipment. Well, I forgot to disconnect them and I pulled forward and ripped the freaking fittings apart the elect electrical wire and all that crap 
it's part of the game, you know. I don't get, um, I used to get real aggravated and pissed off and crap when stuff would happen, but now it's like, you can't do nothing about it, you know, just take it calm and try to work it out, fix the situation, fix the problem. So I did that with the trailer. Thankfully, um, I was able to get out of that. The tires with the truck, well, I already ordered new tires. The truck's at the shop getting the tank fixed, so it's all good, stuff's getting fixed. So I ain't gotta worry, worry about nothing. Right now I'm on my way to deliver a dumpster in Humble, and after that I gotta come back and take another one to Cinco Ranch. So even though I haven't done uh, any runs with my truck this week, just one, I've been kept busy with my dumpsters. So we still got income coming in, so that's good. All right, we just pulled up to my buddy shop, and here's the tires I'm gonna get for my truck. Needles. 295, 70, 33s. This is gonna be my third pair on this truck. So, we're gonna get those put on right now. Check out his truck, he has a badass Ford. 325s, 45s. These are the trail grapplers. And they're they're pretty good tires. So I just got back to the yard. I got the tires put on the truck already. Check it out. Need to wash the truck. But my brother's here, he's gonna take me to go pick up the, the Kenworth. The Kenworth should be finished. The guy sent me some pictures. I'll post them right now so you guys can see them. So, if you look at the truck from here, you can't see the patch they did. It's really not noticeable until you get very close. But here's one patch they did. And here's the other one. This one was bad, real bad. Here's where it was leaking from. And here it was gonna start leaking pretty soon. So that's why the guy did two patches. And, but yeah, I got that fixed now. So the tank should be, should be good and it won't be leaking for a while. But you can't, you can't see it at all. But I'm glad that that got fixed. So, and they took half a day. So that was pretty good. I was able to, to get the truck back and, and do a couple loads. We just pulled up to my cousin's shop. Valdemar Reyes. What's up guys? Get in the way. How y'all doing? And I'm here because I'm going to buy this uh, electric connector. I think I need a new one of these because when I was holding it, when it was connected to the truck and I was wiggling it, the lights kept on going on and off. So I think I'm gonna need to replace this piece. So I'll go ahead and buy this. It is $12. And they have a lot of other stuff here. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what he, what he has. you have it they have slack adjusters brake chambers airlines fittings airbags chrome steering wheels lights uh, mud flaps batteries a little bit of everything and they're located off of 529 and Jones Road uh, the address is what's the address 7127 the address is 7127 Satsuma Drive and if you guys are ever in the area, it's inside of a truck yard. So you see a truck yard, you just pull in. And the first building on the left-hand side, it's a big warehouse. That's where we're at right here. But um, whenever you guys need something, 
So up on by, check me out. All right, so I'm back at the yard and not sure if y'all can see, but the the inside piece of the connector, everything is pretty loose. So I'm gonna try to tighten it up. Maybe it just needs to be tightened right here on this bolt. And if not, I'll go ahead and, and add this new one. I think that was the problem that this bolt was kind of loose so I tightened it up already and that should be fine I'm not gonna change this piece until I hook up to the low boy again and if they keep on doing it I'll just go ahead and change it but for now I'll just keep this one as a little extra and yep I think that was it that was the whole problem all right guys so check it out this is what I was talking about when I was showing you the the fuses I bought so I've already put some on here so as you can see some of them they still fit kind of loose but they won't fall out and that's the problem I was having like this one here you can see it's kind of loose it wiggles some of them do most of them so they come off pretty easily so slowly just the most important ones I've been changing out and i think these three were the ones i recently changed the ones i showed you these here i changed them before i think these are my low beams trailer lights marker lamps and just stuff like that but yeah that's what i've been having to do and it's been working so so that's it before i do Every time I do uh, change out those fuses, I add some of this um, electric cleaner. The, the electric guy, he highly recommended it. And, and it does work, works pretty good. 